Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in the last few videos, we have seen some very basic debugging automation tips uh, using WinAppDBG. So in this video, I'm going to quickly share with you how can you craft a very basic fuzzer. So uh, the fuzzer we are going to craft here is a pure mutation based fuzzer. So if you are not familiar with mutation based fuzzing, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what is mutation based fuzzing so as per the wikipedia definition a mutation based fuzzer is basically if you see here this is actually reuse of existing input seeds so what is that say mutation based fuzzer leverages an existing corpus of seed input during fuzzing so it generates input by modifying the provided seeds so in the so in mutation based fuzzing there you uh, actually select some base files so for example if you are fuzzing a application which actually parses or uh, you know um, handle uh, jpg images so you are going to feed some sample jpg image to it and your fuzzer is going to make some modification minor modification in this in that uh, jpg input seed file and it is going to fit that uh, crafted file into your into your application target application and it will monitor it for uh, you know exceptions within the process so i uh, so i have created very basic block diagram how the fuzzer is going to you know work and you know if you don't have any prior idea what how you know fuzzing are usually performed so this is going to be really helpful uh, so let's get started uh, so this is the starting of this process and the first thing that you have to do you have to read the base file so what is base file we have talked about the corp the seed files right so for example if you are actually fuzzing a application which passes a jpg file you are going to uh, you are going to give some sample valid jpg file to your fuzzer so after that you have to mute it the base file so what does mutation mean so if you are fuzzing an uh, application uh, if you are fuzzing with jpg files you are going to read that file you are going to make some minor modification to that file for example you know changing uh, random bits and bytes of that file probably you, do, you can do some bit flip operations uh, so that is how you mutate a base file for a you know dumb fuzzer if you randomly change bytes uh, in that file so after that you have to launch that application with that base file Mm, so once you lost that application, so uh, you, since you have to monitor uh, this application for exception and uh, different events that are occurring within that process, so that's where uh, the WinAppDBG actually comes into picture. Uh, so you have to start a monitoring thread, which is going to continuously monitor that application, uh, whether any exceptions are being occurred within that process. So after that, the monitoring thread is going to uh continuously you know um, check within that application whether if, if there is any exception or not so if there is no application uh, no uh, exception seen uh, within maybe two or three seconds after you launch the pro launch the process so it is going to close the application it is going to go get into that fuzzing loop again so it's going to read the base file mute the file and again this loop will go on if there is no ex exception so if there is any exception so uh, i just have to you know add a yes here that i have forgot to add so if there is any exception what you have what the what your fuzzer is going to do is you know uh, save that uh, crafted file uh, the that you know your mutation mutator has generated and to save that file some somewhere and it is going to go to that fuzzing loop again so once it saves that file right uh, the crafted file what you what you can do with that file you are going to reproduce that exception with that base file so that is actually very you know basic mutation based fuzzer so now uh, we are going to actually Mm, develop a very basic mutation fuzzer. Let's get started. So, if you have watched my last video, you should be, you should be quite familiar with this particular script. Uh, so, we are going to you know make some minor modification on the script itself. So, let's move it to a new folder here. Dump fuzzer. Dump fuzzer. Uh, let's call it fuzz.py and what you're going to do here um, we are going to uh, take a text file as a base file and we are going to open we are going to make some uh, changes in that file and we are going to open it with notepad.exe obviously since notepad is a very tiny application it's quite straightforward we are not expecting a result out of this fuzzer so this is just to demonstrate how you can craft your own fuzzer to fuzz other complex applications so let's get started so we'll keep uh, my event handler here only Mm, so uh, let's let's start with this diagram so the first point is the first step is reading the base file so let's create a 
create few base file first. So let's say, let's say basis. Uh, sample one, sample one dot txt. Write some things. Uh, a. So we are going to first read this base file. You can come back here later on. Let's first read the base file. F equals to open basis sample one dot txt. We're going to read base content f dot read. So what do you have to do since you you will have to you know make you'll have to read this file in rb as you are interested in you know a lot of uh, bits and bytes of that file so um, this is f dot read let's close the waste file so uh, in more realistic further what you have to do here you have to you know uh, list down all the base file that you have you usually keep within that base folder and you know choose a file randomly so since uh, we are not getting into that uh, so the reading base file is done um, which is this particular reading base file and now we have to mutate this file so for this particular example um, let's write a function mutate mutate which is going to accept the base file make some changes in that and return new dead content so for this particular example we are going to you know just um, add some random integer into it so from random import rand int so so uh, let's take this uh, base file and convert it to a list uh, my list you can just do this now you have to choose a random offset between zero to the size of your list. So this offset it is going to replace. Uh, you can just put it inside a loop as well. So for my range, we are going to replace, let's say for example, two, three bytes. So we are going to generate an offset inside that list. You change it the offset to another random integer. Zero to let's say nine. Mm, and once the replacement is done, you have to join that list again my list you can just simply return this so if you if you run this particular script what you can see here sorry it's I have missed a zero here so as you can see here it is actually replacing random offset so this is what uh, since we are not expecting a very good result, uh, not very good, we are not expecting any result out of this uh, fuzzing process since we'll be, you know, doing it for notepad. Uh, just for demonstration purpose, I am, you know, replacing random bytes. So we are uh, done till this point, reading base file and mutation. Now we have to launch that application uh, using WinAppDBG. Uh, so let's continue our 
so now we need actually this particular section uh, okay so so first we need to create that fuzzing loop how do we do that we just have to put everything inside while true this is going to be an infinite loop we don't need this so we'll just paste it here uh, let's pass our base content muted content we're going to use this function that we have written and our base content will will pass our base content to this function and it's going to return the mutated content and and we'll have to write it to a file let's do it the file name we can say input dot txt f dot write we are going to write that mutated content into it f dot close so now we know that output file name is input.txt and it is going to place into that same folder which is our fuzzer first folder uh, dumb fuzzer folder uh, so only thing you have to modify here you have to add it in the command line so that you know whenever you launch this application in, in the as a command line the input.txt will be passed to it so now um, just Put a exit here just just to test that if our fuzzer the, the this particular code is working or not python yeah as you can see it has successfully launched and this particular bytes are changed now we'll have to you know continuously do that we are done till this point launch application with that base file so the next step is uh, start monitoring uh, start the application monitoring thread so that we are going to cover in the next video uh, so if you are not subscribed to this channel and if you find it uh, helpful, uh, you may consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.